Good day, everybody, and welcome back to Brent Plays With Himself, Control. On episode 12, I continue my hunt for the answers, but instead I find a giant quarry in a house in the middle of a city. It has a sky. This game does not give me answers. I'm hoping that uh, I'm close to being done. Not because I hate... Well, I don't know. I haven't been a huge fan of this game. What's going on here now? Oh. I should obviously choose that door because it's got the upside down triangle. Whoa, what's going on? There's like visitors here? Oh yeah. Okay, obviously I should try and open this door. It's locked. I'm going to keep trying to do this, then. Whoa. Okay. I do house cleaning now. You know, as director, I find that uh, I have to go to random motels around the country and... Well, that opened up all of the doors. Oh. There. Much better. What happens if I do this now? This is this isn't even a puzzle. <laughs> this is fucked up. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, wait. The chair needs to be out. I see now. There. Third door is open. Okay. I have received some keys. This is super fucked up.
Sure. So uh, okay. Okay. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Summary. The Atlas is a physical expression created by the oldest house. Its purpose and function are currently unknown. The specific shape and dimension of the Atlas, see file ATL-03 for said dimensions, seem to indicate a more explicit purpose than the oldest house's usual walls, floors, or shifts. The Atlas changes form, but resists observation when doing so. No visual observation has been made during its change, and it only ever occurs between frames when monitored by surveillance cameras. A previous theory was that this change corresponds to house shifts, and then the atlas is a hop of the hop itself. However, the shape changes do not occur at the same time as the building shifts, which makes this theory doubtful. Structurally, the atlas is made of the same heart material as the rest of the oldest house. Further observation will hopefully aid in discovering its purpose. I can't remember any of the voices I used to do. Ow. You are not allowed. Damn it. Oh. Not gonna lie, I, uh, oh yeah, shield efficient. Boys' room. No bathroom breaks. No bathroom. Five. Ah. Kept having beard hair go up my nose. So, how am I doing this? Okay, so the bathrooms are a no Okay. That's just that. No. No. <laughs> Continue towards Blackrock processing. The hell? There's another door.
Oh, shit. Good people. We done? Oh. Not until I do this. Cleanse! Let the cleansing begin. Where's Arish? Arsh. Uh, hang on, I just want to explore a bit. Make sure I didn't miss any documents. So far, I'm so good. No. No. Oh, okay, I'm coming up. Documents around here. I'm not doing that. So you can go away now. Oh man. Come on, man. Don't be a massive prick. Secret secrets. Yes. Hello. Welcome. Whoa. Whoa. Fun. So, Gently. Long time no see indeed. Been forever. Oh, hello. How come there's no one in here? Don't be so whiny. 
I don't know what my mission is. I gotta talk to that guy. Have you noticed the recent tension between Trench and Darling? They've been acting odd lately. Trench concerns me the most. His sudden hostility towards Darling's project is very unlike him. He was the one to approve all this Hedron research in the first place, but after Darling unveiled those HRAs, he was livid. I personally don't see any reason to not equip Bureau staff with an additional protective device, especially not, not if it's as strong as Darling says. What do you make of this? Have you seen anything from either of them like strikes you as odd? Let's talk in person before the next Bureau Heads meeting. M. Aw, oh, MI6 is involved. The double O program. Your, what's going on with your, like, face? They're fucking frogs. Ah. Yes, tre tre yeah. Trench and them, they're fucking. Yeah, what's that? Yay! Just a Debbie Downer. What? We're used to dealing with hiss. We're not hit used to dealing with freaking monsters. Okay. What's that? Huh. I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to this in my head. How's audio levels, by the way? Should be okay. Great. Great area, G29. My favorite area. Game is a touch quiet. Well then, I'll deal with that. Well, let's go deal with the monster. What's better, audio and? Well, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Everything is better. Everything is better. Jesus. The fuck? Stop moving. Well, I will tell you for free. This is gonna go shit. Thanks, weird thing. Oh! 
Oh! Kill it with fire! Kill it with fire! Kill it with fire! I almost died! Look at my health! Hey guys, remember that time I fought whatever the fuck that was? Yeah, I don't care about that. Oh good, let's find out what this thing is. His distorted engines are able to render themselves invisible and emit a powerful concussive blast when in close range to their target. Curiously, the his distorted is apparently not able to utilize both abilities at once. It must make itself visible when it goes on the offensive. The his distorted is unique in the fact that it wields a paranatural ability previously unknown to the Bureau, perhaps tapping into a yet undiscovered object of power? How does the invisibility work? Does the distorted become resonance temporarily? Does it use his resonance to attract light? The physical di- <coughs> That voice. Uh, that voice was crazy. The physical deformation of this particular his entity is noteworthy in the thoroughness. Clearly the human host would have died from such extreme alteration, which prompts the question, are the corrupted simply animated corpses? Good question. And yeah, I almost died. Why are you here if you're not paying attention? Watch me. It was not... Don't do that voice. It was not good for you. Great for the character, but not your vocal cords. I'll take the hit. Plus I have rum. Oh, so it feels 100% better. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Of course. Yep. Let's not good. Let's poison us. Oh, darling. Uh, do I want beer or more rum? Always rum. It's why the rum is always gone. Rum is always gone. Always. Okay, before I do anything else, I'm going to wander around for a while. Oh. Yay! Level five clearance. Shh, for a second. Black Rock has allowed the Bureau to make great strides in containment procedures since it was first discovered. 
This report will examine how the structure is comprised of hurt density that nullifies all resonance with a range of hurt to hurt hertz. Bureau in innovations that incorporate black rock will be analyzed, most notably the fire breaks, feats of engineering designed to contain and future outbreaks attacks and the internal threats. The goal of this report is to encourage Bureau staff to explore further innovations using BlackRock, as work in that field has markedly slowed in recent years. I think it's good. I think it's good. Okay. Why are we going up? Aren't quarries usually down? I'm confused. Find the Black Rock Quarry. Pull out your boy. Where am I going? Okay. Interesting. Secrets. Secret secrets. Seize accelerator. Rock quarry. Black rock quarry. Should I go see Sonic the movie on Friday? I'm looking at movie time for the like, like. Sorry, I didn't know you wanted me to answer. Um, I don't know. I mean, do we think they've improved? Wait. The fuck? Where am I? Um, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't look bad. Like, if I had to say, like, doesn't look bad. Yes, please. Always increase my health. Ooh, I could max my health out. Oh, I do want that, though. Let's do that. Astro. Hmm. Ooh. I don't want that. I want to increase that. I need house memory and more ritual stuff. I'm just, I agree. It looks kind of fun. Just deciding if you really want to spend $20 on it right now. I don't know. I'm really picky about the movies I go and see. So... Hey, man! Oh, shit.
it's one of those. Did I kill him? No. Okay. Hang on, I'm reloading. Yeah, I'm really picky. So like 20 bucks for me, I mean. Doesn't seem like a lot, but at the same time, I think it is. But personal preference to each their own. Black Rock Quarry. Oh no, the janitor was here. That janitor's gonna turn out to be like a demon. Just you wait and see. The loading on this game is absolute horseshit. Not a fan. Ahoy hoy! Alright. Let's call the elevator. You know who did this better? Batman. Oh. Hello. Fancy seeing you here. Oh! Poor. That was almost real dangerous. Yeah, Control does seem to have very Batman. It does not have Batman y vibes. No, that's not what I was saying at all. What I'm saying is Batman is a better game. Ever mistake that again. Yeah. If by Batman y vibes you do mean like weird building with a lot of secrets, I think I can agree. Where are you going? What's your game plan? What are you doing? Oh, I see. Fine then. Fine then indeed. Ha ha!
That's it? Oh yeah, I'll just cleanse us then. Cool! Usually it's a bigger fight. Oh. Oh no, it's just fixing the room. Cool. That. I meant to jump over that, but instead I burst through it with board countermeasures. I mean. Sure. Oh, fuck a duck. What's up, man? Pokemon Home is launched. What? I still am not sure what Pokemon Home is. It's like a bank. Ooh, la bank. Oh! Jesus! Whoa! <clears throat> that got fucking intense. I didn't know that guy was still alive. Whew! Intense. It's basically a Pokemon Bank, but uploaded in hand to handle mobile and Switch games. So I can just... So would I be able to take Pokemon from Sword and Shield and then put them into my mobile game? And vice versa? I believe is what you're telling me. It's a dead end. Jesus Christ. Oh, come on! Guys are gonna just fall down. No, but once they leave, go. Okay, what do we got here? Now I'm in a fucking mine. This is great. We need additional diamond blades ASAP. Continuous rim. Continuous rim. Continue. What? We need additional diamond blades ASAP. Continuous rim this time. To get this clean cut research wants. What the fuck? That's a 
awful sentence. We need additional diamond blades ASAP. Continuous rim this time to get the clean cut research wants. Oh, continuous rim is like a type of diamond blade, I guess. This black rock shit is tough. We're going through blades like we're made of this damn thing. The dimensions for these slabs is black rock. One is outrageous for all the grief they're causing me. These fire breaks better be fucking work a treat. Go ahead and double the last order. Okay. What? No, thank you. Okay. Ow, what the fuck? What in the fuck? We're just gonna let that slide, eh? Weird. I'm not gonna lie, this place is fucked. Weird boxes. So this is underground? <laughs> what if? There was a big ass mine underground. Devin, what does that even mean? Think about it, it would be cool, right? Yeah, but Devin, like, what do you. So, what's in the mine? Rock. What rock? Like, black rock. Devin, what does the black rock do? I don't know, man. That's for you writers to figure out. Devin, you're head writer. What you're saying is you don't know what your own ideas are? I don't know, man. You want me to activate the explosives. That's not good. That's not good. Whoa. Jesus.
Jesus, fuck. Fuck! This is intense. Are we fucking done now? Holy shit, people. <sighs> Quarry incident. <clears throat> During my weekly safety inspection to the quarry threshold, I discovered the entire crew in a state of hurt. Hurt. The whole team was hurt. Aligned and staring in a uniform direction. The city in the distance. Despite my most vocal efforts to gain their attention, they remained hurt for more than hurt minutes until I had to resort to literally hurt. Afterwards, they were dazed and could not provide any re- Oh, it's a quarry. My voice is changing because I'm going into minor mode. Could not provide any rationale for their behavior or any specific memories of engaging in it. My official recommendation for any crew working in a threshold area is to either shorten the length of their shifts or to carry out mandatory psychological evaluations on a weekly basis, or preferably both. And maybe we should order another expedition to the city! <laughs> I did it. The fuck? Nope. Nope. Up the stairs, please. Thank you. Okay, enjoy your time down here. Bye. Wow. It's a nice elevator. Dude, I booked it through there. Where is it? Uh... 
Oh. I see what I did wrong. I mucked that up. I was supposed to use the shortcut there, but. Is it above or below? It was below. Whoa! Yep. There it is. Let's do this! Fast travel! Must be getting windy out there. Hi, Marshall. Cool. But I can't. She doesn't know shit. Oh. Ah, oh, the Panopticon. Sure. Stop being director. You just talked about how you didn't want to leave. Jesse, you're all over the place. Oh, that's not good. Oh! Dylan? No idea what's happening now. Oh, I do like that. My God. Do it. More throw damage, please. Do I have any more outfits? No! Stop giving me the choice then! God! Find Dylan. Containment. Uh, I presume that means I need to take the elevator. Let's go! Containment! Awful! <laughs> Okay. 
Uh huh. Fantastic. As always, super fucking helpful. Yikes on bikes. Tell me a story, Trench. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. I just don't like how out there this game is. <laughs> like, I really don't like when people go out of their way to be mysterious by being like, it's everything and nothing. It's the answer, but also the question. It's just one of those things where you're like, we get it. Mystery. Whoa! But. It's just super annoying to me. But I think that's just me. Just I. I just wanted to order a pizza. Thank you all so much for watching. To join my guests and I live, check out our Twitch channel, Nearly Confident. You can reach us at the social media links in these credits. And if you want to support us even more, check out our Patreon. Thank you to the fiends currently supporting us. We will see you all next time. Have a good evening.